Ma Boyd said to tell Spineless LaVille to hold his mother kettle. Spineless LaVille insulted Mrs. Annette Sanford and other Dominican women with his premeditated derogatory verbal diarrhea. She said that Spineless LaVille said what he meant and meant what he said. Delay attorney comments were soaked overnight in demeaning context. The helper said so Spineless LaVille delivered his demeaning context marinated comments with 100% support from the disgraceful female purchased ministers. Ma Boyd said that Spineless LaVille started his savagery in Parliament by saying, Mr. Speaker, I have contempt and disgust and in a different forum I will use stronger language. So the coward bastard referred to Mrs. Sanford as a drumstick in full and unwavering dehumanizing context. He didn't mix his words. She said that is why Spineless LaVille's comments should not be seen or accepted as an apology because he was being even more disrespectful by trying to insult the intellectual capacity of Dominicans. The helper said that Spineless LaVille will fool Dunce Mel anytime, because she has no intellectual capacity. Ma Boyd said Spineless LaVille has acknowledged that he was disrespectful in the highest court in the land, so Dominicans should not accept his insult of verbal diarrhea as an apology. She said that the protest action should continue until Spineless LaVille is removed as ag. The helper said Money Boney's guab jamber is looking like a frost-burned drumstick. That KFC will never put in a kid's meal. De chef said to Minister of Death, Asani Knights was at a mess conference explaciating with unscrupulous pomposity about the opening of De Marigat Leakpital. Unethical Asani said De Leakpital will be open 24-7 from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. She said but De Kickback Specialist never told us that only on one side of De Leakpital is being used because of De Constant Leakage. De Helper said just like De Constant PP Leakage from Pantamon's Catheter. De chef said that Asani Knights will never say that the building is still leaking very bad and that recently it was raining and a big piece of sheetrock dropped from the ceiling, and almost hurt the people inside. She said the petticoat administer also will not say that no patient is being admitted to the leakpital, because it is leaking, understaffed, has limited medication and has no critical equipment. The helper said that the forced soft opening of the Marigat leakpital at like the 630 clubbers, they will force young ladies to join their private parties, but they remain soft and dead at the openings, asked a fatigue liat fella, the chef said that Asani Knights is a despicable and greedy individual to allow Tomate Scarrett to treat him like a Thai Vau Asmaho. She said that he lied to and disrespected the people of Marigat and the Northeast by extension. Asani Knights has lost every ounce of respect from a lot of Jean Maho. The helper said not even Metcon Bendwick is defending Asani Knights like before. The assistant chef said that the electricity generation problem is getting from back to worse. Just how Lil Willie Tony's ability to bedroomly maintain his home is getting from bad to worse. She said she was informed and confirmed that on Friday, Tomate Scarrett was at De Seed Hotel demanding that they help out the DUMBLEC situation. The rapacious creature and the cardboards of IRC and DUMBLEC created their problem. Now they want to tie everybody in it. The helper said just how ungrateful Greta is lazy, but she wants to call the district development officer for the East, Pi John Helen, lazy. And Anna Fee, the assistant chef said that Tomate Scarrett is writing letters to private businesses indicating that it is a matter of national security, and that the businesses have no choice but to comply. Just how Tomate Scarrett had no choice but to comply when Doorknob Mel demanded that she didn't want Twet Francine's Boudicall presidency. She said that now he is pleading to De Seed Hotel and others to pay for the fuel to run the generators. They have since roped the generators from Ross University and former DCP into the electricity generation patching program. The helper said just how Tomate Scarrett and Dududis Shabine have roped nasty, filthy and raw sewage business into our World Creole Festival. Imagine a serial criminal like Penny G is a Creole Festival promoter. Yuck. Ma Boyd said that she wants to know why Tomate Scarrett is planning to go to the Virgin Islands to give Creole Festival tickets. De Chef said that she wants to know which CBI passport vendor is very worried about the billion dollars money laundering raid in Singapore.